Good morning, Comets. I'm Madeline. And I'm Jacob. Jacob and I are matching today. Don't forget to get your tickets for Legally Blonde at glmusicals.net. I'm in the blue cast, and here are the rest of the cast lists so you can see when your friends are performing. And now, here's a little sneak peek into what we've been working on. Make sure to get your tickets for next weekend, but if you're looking for something fun to do before then, Aaron's got you covered with the lowdown. Hey Comets, it's Aaron, and welcome back to the lowdown. Hope you all are enjoying the time difference. I'm personally loving me some more nighttime. Grand Ledge residents, please remember to rake your leaves in time for the fall pickup. And coming up this Saturday is bowling, hosted by GL Track and Cross Country from noon to 5 p.m. at Royal Scott. Admissions are $15 per person. Want to get some cooking tips or just freshen up your skills? There is a holiday cooking class this Sunday at 5 p.m. at Adventist Church. You like art? Well, this is for you. Check out the Pop-Up Art and Craft Show this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at 100 East Grand River in Williamston. Well, that's all I got for you comments, and I'll see you next week on The Lowdown. Bye! Thank you, Aaron. I don't think I'll ever get tired of the fall leaves. True, but I certainly am tired of the ice on my windshield. Here's Kat with some of our comments here to talk about what trends they are tired of. What's a trend that you're tired of? Uh, people stealing old songs for TikTok. Oh, yeah? You don't like throwbacks coming back? No, because they, try, they end up ruining the songs. I see the, your point, yeah. What's a trend you're tired of? Uh, the slime or mint trend. I don't get it. I don't even know what that is. What's a trend you're tired of? The baba buoy trend. I hate it. Really? Yeah. You don't like the baba buoy? I will leave. I don't like <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Thank you. <laughs> What's a trend you're tired of? Short shorts. Oh. What's a trend you're tired of? Um... Mitchell Carlson taking all the credit during the soccer season. Oh, shade. <laughs> What's a trend you're tired of? Uh, ponytails. Middle parts. Oh. What's a trend you're tired of? I'm tired of these student news questions. You want to know what I'm tired of, Adi? What? Your terrible attitude. What's a trend you're tired of? Highlights. <laughs> What's a trend you're tired of? Scrunchies on wrists. You don't like that vibe? No. It's Cheeto girl stuff. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's a trend you're tired of? Being asked if we're twins. Yeah, being asked if we're twins. I can see how that would get annoying. What's a trend you're tired of? Aw, uh, the little lad song. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, the little lad who loves berries and cream. Thank you, Kat. Seniors, we have a few announcements for you. Make sure you order your cap and gown. Also, you need to submit your yearbook quotes and photos by next Friday. And lastly, don't forget to file for FAFSA. Now for a break from all the announcements, here's Ava with your sports update. Welcome to sports. I'm Ava. Let's get into it. If you're interested in bowling this winter, then tryouts are on Monday. Email Brady Smith for more info or questions. Following up on Palm from their competition this past weekend, Varsity placed 5th in their division while JV placed 6th. Volleyball had an absolutely exciting and successful season this year that ended on Tuesday night. Last Thursday, they won their match against DeWitt, winning them a district title. Not done by a Grand Ledge volleyball team since 1999. Tuesday, they went on to play Brighton at DeWitt, but fell to a loss. Congrats on the season, ladies. Swim placed 3rd at their district meet and have moved on to regionals, which is this weekend. Good luck, ladies. And last but certainly not least, we have our last end zone to end zone of the fall season. So Amina, take it away. Welcome to end zone to end zone. This week we have Amina Vakili 
and baby Gina. Uh, Amina, are you ready for some questions? Yeah, I'm ready. Sweet, okay. So how long have you been doing swim? Um, I started last year. You started last year, and why did you start swim? What made you want to do that? Well, I used to do gymnastics, and the dive team just seemed like a perfect fit for me after finishing up with that, and it was. Nice, all right, and what are you best at in dive? Um, I'm really good at doing a back one and a half with a half twist. Fancy. <laughs> so taking a break from some swim and dive questions, where do you get your style from? People want to know. Uh, I'm pretty original. I get it from myself. <laughs> get it from yourself. All right. I like that. Uh, who, well, what three people would you want on your zombie apocalypse team? Oh, mm, Alicia Ozzy, okay. Bella Rivera, and Bella Parker because she can be good bait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, sounds like a solid lineup. Take mm -hmm. out some zombies. Do you think Converse are underrated or overrated? Uh, the new ones are super cute, but I think the old ones are overrated. Overrated. And what's a song that's been on uh, repeat lately? Uh, Heat Waves. Heat Waves. I don't think I know that one. Gina, do you know that one? Gina don't know that one. Could you sing that for me, Amina? Um, Sometimes all I think about is you. <laughs> Late nights in the middle of June. Nice, nice. Okay, I'll have to add that one to a playlist. And uh, there's got to be some good dance moves to go with that one. What is your best dance move? Um, I got some really good footwork. Ready? Show us. Hey, hey, <laughs> all right, all right. And um, should people come see Legally Blonde? Oh, of course. Of course, <laughs> all right. So we've made it to the end of the field. You ready to do one last thing? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna have you kick a field goal. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs>